Hello everyone. In this video, you will learn how to sketch the graph of an odd polynomial function using five easy steps. Y intercepts, X intercepts, intervals of decrease and increase, concavity and inflection points, and relative extrema. Step 1. Y intercepts. To find Y intercept, we set X equal to 0. So Y equal to F0 equal to from the function 0 cube minus 3 times 0 plus 2 equal to 0 minus 0 plus 2 equal to 2. So the point is 0, 2. We label on the graph point 0, 2. Step number 2, x intercept. To find x intercept, you need to find the zeros of the function. So you will have the value of x that makes the function become 0. You use try and error method. So for example, first we try f0. Substitute into the function, we have 0 minus 0 plus 2. This one equal to 2. So this is not the root. We try f1. 1 minus 3 plus 2 equal to 0. So this is the root. Now we divide by 1 synthetic division. Write the coefficient of the polynomial. For x cube, the coefficient is 1. For x square, there is no x square. So the coefficient is 0. For x, the coefficient is minus 3. And then finally, we write the constant 2. Plus, we write 1 here. Because this is 1. And then 1 times 1 is 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. Minus 3 plus 1 is minus 2. 1 times minus 2 is minus 2. 2 minus 2 is 0. You should get 0. If you don't get 0, either your calculation here is wrong or your calculation here is wrong. So you now you can write x cube minus 3x plus 2 equal to 0. 1 is the root. So x minus 1 is one of the factor. And then you write this one. Constant x, x square. x square, 1 x square plus 1 x minus 2 equal to 0. So from here, it is now easy to do factorization because you only have a quadratic. So x and x, 2 is 1 times 2 plus and the middle, so the largest one should be plus, and this one is minus. 2 minus 1 is 1. Okay, so the root is x equal to 1 and x equal to minus 2. Okay, so our point is 1, 0 from here. This one just repetition, and then the other one is minus 2 and 0. We plot on the graph. So we have 1, 0, this one, and then minus 2, 0. Step 3. Intervals of decrease and increase. So first we find the 
first derivative f prime x equal to 3x square minus 3 set this equal to 0 so you have 3x square equal to 3 x square equal to 1 x equal to since you have an even power you need to have plus minus 1 so you have two critical points one is minus 1 and the other one is 1 if x is equal to 1 y is equal to 0 if it is equal to minus 1 we use the function minus 1 cube minus 1 minus 1 times minus 3 is 3 so the answer 3 plus 2 is 5 5 minus 1 is 4 we can plot on the graph minus 1 4 is here and the other one is 1 0 already on the graph now we draw the line number x we have 1 the other one is minus 1 we have f prime and f choose a value that is less than 1 for example minus 2 substitute into f prime this one minus 2 square 4 4 times 3 12 12 minus 3 is a positive number so the function is increasing for x less than minus 1 so in here increasing between minus 1 and 1 choose a number for example 0 substitute into f prime you get minus 3 it is a negative number so the function is decreasing between minus 1 and 1 decreasing and finally greater than 1 for example 2 you can also have 3, 4, 5, 6 it doesn't matter Substitute 2 inside f prime. 2 square is 4. 4 times 3, 12. 12 minus 3 is a positive number. So this one, increase. Step 4. Concavity. Find the second derivative. This is the first derivative, 3x square minus 3. So the second derivative is 6x minus 0. Get 6x. Set this equal to 0. So x equal to 0. So you have line number here. x and 0. f double prime and f. Choose a number less than 0, for example, minus 1. Substitute into f double prime. 6 times minus 1 is negative. So, concave down. Choose a number greater than 0, for example, 1. Substitute into f double prime. You get 6, a positive number. So, this is concave up. So, in here, concave down. And this area concave up. Since you have a change in the sign for f double prime, you have an inflection point at x equal to 0. Or 0. So this is an inflection point. Step number five, relative extrema. 
according to the first derivative test, if you have change in sign for f prime, for example, plus and then minus, up and down, it means that this is a maximum point. If you have negative and then positive, you go down and then up, this is a minimum point. Using the second derivative test, we use critical point which is 1 minus 1. So, f minus 1 is equal to substitute into f double prime, you get a negative number, negative 6. So, you have negative. This is maximum point because it is less than 0. Substitute this one, 1 to second derivative, you have positive 6. This is greater than 0. According to the second derivative test, if you have a positive number, then it is a mean point. So, this is max point and this is the mean point. It means that after this, if you go down, then up. You go up and then down. Now, we need to do is to plot the graph. So, before minus 1, we go up. Up with concave down. So, on the left side, this one up. This one down. This one up. So, up. Like this. You go up, concave down. And then max. If you see max, then you cannot go up further. You should go down. Okay. After that, after minus 1, before 0, still concave down. And it is going down until here. This is an inflection point. So, after concave down, at x equal to 0, it changed the sign. So, now it become concave up and going down because of this one. And then, at 1, it goes up with concave up. Thank you.